on YouTube, Scotty, a 504 man fragrance reviews, coming back at you with another video. Folks, I thought today I would rank the entire line from Happy Land Studios. All 14 of Mr. E.J. Wells' creations, I'm going to rank them, in my opinion, from the bottom to the top of what I like and what I absolutely love. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Number 14, folks, I know I'm going to get some flack for this because a lot of y'all love this one. This one is just not for me because I'm not a gourmand guy, and that is Om Fallout Holidays. Om for the Holidays is a very gourmand fragrance. It's uh, maple syrup and I think maple absolute and coffee and, and pumpkin pie and pumpkin spice. That's just not my thing. I'm just not into those. But this is a gorgeous fragrance. My wife loves this one. She's into those type of things. So if you're into those type of gourmand, pumpkin spice, fall type smells, this is definitely for you. So... If that was 14, and I don't like that one, 13 is going to be Queer Cafe. Queer Cafe is just a blast of coffee and leather. I think I don't give this one enough wearing to get down to the leather. It's just a monstrous blast of coffee in the beginning. I'm not a coffee drinker. I never have been. So I think this one is just not my style again. But this is still a very good fragrance. Uh monstrous projection, great longevity, like with everything in, in, in this line. Projections are really good. Longevity is really good. You really can't beat it as far as projection and longevity with Happy Land Fragrances. It's just certain things just aren't my style, and Queer Cafe is one of those. All right, number 12 is going to be one of the older um, fragrances from Mr. E.J. Wells, and that is Blue Fire. Blue Fire is not a bad fragrance. Um, it's, it ranks this far back for me uh, just because of the dry down. The dry down kind of comes off to me somewhat um, uh, marijuana-ish uh, to me. I, I've had a few people when I've, when I've worn this one have asked me, uh, have I been doing that? <laughs> of course, I don't. So I'm like, no, 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 no. It's just a fragrance I'm wearing. It's not a bad fragrance. Um, it's just in the, in the late, late, late dry down just kind of comes off putting to me. I wish this one ranked a little bit higher. I wish this one had a little more oomph to it, and that would be seven. The citrus and the rolly notes in this one, um, they're, they're nice. They, they, they really do well together. I just wish this one just had a little more pop to it, just a little more pop. This is somewhat almost like a fougere classic style. I just wish this one just had a little more, a little more action to it, so... That is seven. All right, so the next one is going to be one of the newer releases from Mr. E.J. Wells. Um, not his newest ones, but what fairly new it is would be Paisley Sky. Now, Paisley Sky has some very bright and different notes to it. It's, it's a unique style fragrance. There's something in, in this fragrance that makes my nose tingle. Um, it's very good. It's just weird when I wear it. It just really makes my nose tingle. I don't know what, it, what, what note is in there that's doing that. It is a very, very good scent. Uh, it, it is uh, indicative of the label Paisley Sky. You know, it's, it is, is kind of different, but it, it's not bad. You know, it's, it's not a bad fragrance at all. Super, super, super heavy projector, super performer. So that's Paisley Sky from Happy Land Studios. All right. So the next one is going to be, I think, one of the first releases from Happy Land Studios, or one of the most oldest releases, is going to be Rhyolite. Now, Rhyolite is a very good smoky, smoky fragrance. Uh, I believe it's got some strawberry in it, maybe some blueberry. But this is a very, very, very good fragrance. Just comes off very, very, very smoky. This is one of the ones I really think doesn't get much love in the community. This is a definitely one that you need to check out for yourself. So that's Happy Land Studios Rhyolite. All right, so the next one is going to be Cravat Noir. Cravat Noir is, is imagine YSL's tuxedo to the 10th power. It's very amped up. It's very, very good fragrance. I mean, it's very good. I wore this one as my scent of the night last night, and I was very impressed with it. This also in the back has a note that somewhat makes my nose tingle. I don't know why. I don't know what it is, but sometimes it feels good, and sometimes it's kind of off-putting, but... Cravat Noir is a very good scent. I mean, it's very, very, very nice. Um, just a, just a, a tobacco-based fragrance. Just very, very, very well put together. So that is Cravat Noir 
Check this one out for yourself, folks. All right, the next one, which I really like a lot. It's just not my favorite. I really think this one doesn't get talked about at all in the fragrance community, especially amongst those who are, who are patrons of Happy Land Studios, and that's going to be Plum Loco. Plum Loco is just a juicy plum leather tobacco, just phenomenal fragrance. I love this fragrance. Uh, when, I, when I originally bought the sample kit, this was included. This was months and months and months ago. And I couldn't believe that more people didn't talk about this one. I mean, Plum Loco is just a beautiful fragrance. Just that plum note in this one just really sets it apart. So that is Plum Loco. All right, the next one is going to be one of the newer releases. Um, it's a very beautiful scent, uh, very well done, just very creamy, very smooth, very smooth, very, very inviting and very warming. And that is Amberland. It's a new release from Mr. E.J. Wells. This is just a creamy, vanilla, amber, sandalwood fragrance. Just a beautiful fragrance. Just very warming, very inviting. Very long project, very long lasting, very good projector. Just a, just a nice, smooth, beautiful amber fragrance. So the next one is one that I was super, super excited about when he released this one. As soon as I saw the picture and saw that it was coming out, I reached out and said, man, when is this one coming out? I gotta buy this immediately. And this is Green Irish Tobacco. Green Irish Tobacco is a mashup between Creed's Green Irish Tweed and Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanille. I think it's a scent of its own. I get hints of each one, but I think this one sets itself apart and stands out on its own for me. Uh, I don't think of this as a clone at all. I get like this bubblegum type vibe in the opening. Just It's a bright, fresh, turns into somewhat a, a deeper, darker, luxurious fragrance, but this is just a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance. Happy Land Studios, Green Irish Tobacco. To me, this is a must-have on your list. The next one is going to be a new release, exclusive to Ross over at TLTG Reviews. This is a amped-up version of another new release by Mr. E.J. Wells, and this one is called Man Shit. That's right, folks. You see it. Man Shit. This one is an homage to the classic, fou classic fougeres of, of back in the day, this one just has some super added, amped up smoky notes and some suede accords. This one is just a, a classic fougere with some smokiness and some suede to it. Just a gorgeous fragrance, just super awesome to wear. Very, very, very nice. I'm glad to have this one. So that brings me to the next three. And it's going to be the new release. That is the lighter version of Man Shit. And that is Omland. Omland is a very beautifully done, classic men's masculine fougere, gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance, just awesome to wear when you're wearing a suit and tie, just gentlemanly, classic, refined, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance. So that brings us to number two, and number two is going to be just a beautiful soapy and broxen lavender just musk, leather, just stepping out the barbershop chair, folks. And that's right, it's Happy Land Barbershop. A lot of you young guys are not going to appreciate this type of fragrance. This barbershop fragrance is classic and old school. Brings back a lot of nostalgic memories for me. This is just a must-have in my collection. It's a must-have in an in a, in a, in a older gentleman's collection. Happy Land's Barbershop. It's a must-try, in my opinion. So, that leaves us with number one, folks. Who would have guessed it? Happy Land Signature. This is a tobacco honey-drizzled monster. My wife absolutely loves this thing. On Valentine's Day, when we took a little trip, she said, this is the one I must bring. And I brought it. She loves it. I love it. This is just a wonderfully made, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance. Happy Land Signature. Just a beautifully done tobacco, drizzled with honey, just very, very, very nice fragrance. It's amped up. It's powerful. It lasts. It projects. And it's just absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. And it's my number one, my absolute favorite. It's a must-have. So there you have it, folks. That's my ranking of Happy Land Studios' entire line. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Kind of go back and forth with me. Let me know what, what your rankings are. If you have the entire line. If you don't have the entire line, I suggest you go over to Happy Land Studios' website. I'll leave a link down below. Get a sample pack. Check out his entire line. Make a decision for yourself or what you think you, you enjoy. So there you have it. 
hey, that's my take. Take it or leave it. I want to thank you, Mr. E.J. Wells, for creating such masterful, masterful blends. Keep up the great work. Do me a favor. If you're new to the channel, hit the red button down below, subscribe. And like I always say, folks, keep smelling good. Until next video, peace.